name's Sophia. I'm 17 years of age and I'm going to Mangere College. I'm caring, I'm very kind. I have trouble trying to say things to people. Maybe a dose of retail therapy might get you over that, Sophia. Selling the latest fashion shoes at Overland will get you talking to a whole range of people. And manager Penny Smith will help you learn the tricks of the trade. What we look for in new sales associates is people that can communicate, obviously with lots of different people, people that have energy and um, are motivated. Hi Sophia, I'm Penny, how are you? I'm good. Good, welcome to Overland St Luke's. I hear that you're interested in retail. Yep, that's true. I'm really interested in the fashion industry. Excellent, well we're all about fashion so come on in. There are a lot of things that go on behind the scenes before Sophia will even get to talk to a customer. The main areas involved in retail are customer service, customer interaction, merchandising, so changing displays, and housekeeping, daily housekeeping and cleaning up. There are so many different skills that you learn in retail. Uh, the key things that I have learned are dealing with lots of different people, um, interacting with customers, selling skills, and thinking on your feet and being able to multitask. Retail is all about presentation. That means cleaning up before opening the store. OK, Sophia, you're going to be my trainee for the day, so I'll give you that badge to put on. Yep and then we need to open up the store. Sophia is in good company training for a job in retail. The Minister for Education, Steve Mahari, also got his start selling shoes. Well, the truth of the matter is that I left school quite early and I went to work for, for the government, but I found it very boring. There I found myself working in all my glory in what was at that time a brand new style of shopping and an extremely exciting thing to do. So how, how do you display your shoes? Okay, so if you're, what we do is that we have display similar styles together. So this is the same style shoe but different colours. And we use the stands because it just stands out and it's a lot more um, appealing to the customers when they walk past. Once Sophia has got a feel for presentation, she gets to know the range of shoes she will yeah. be selling. What are these made of? These ones are a leather upper. A lot of our shoes are leather. Product knowledge is extremely important in retail. We need to know what we're selling and customers will come up with lots of different questions and we need to know the answer. They need to know that they're getting good advice and good product knowledge and they need to know we know what we're talking about. Now Sophia is going to combine her love of fashion with product knowledge to design her own in-store display. Okay, just one thing when you are setting them up is to make sure that the shoes are touching and we call that kissing. Okay, so how about we go and um, you can pick some styles to do your own display. The goal of retail is to provide the best possible service that we can. Um, and I also believe to grow in the industry and be the best that you can be. Great, so you're all done. That looks really, really good. Good use of colour and different heights of the boots as well. So it looks really good. Well done. Thanks. I, I learned an enormous range of skills that have carried me right through my life. The most important one, I think, was dealing with people. OK, so the biggest part of our role in retail is obviously customer service and helping find people what they're looking for. To help Sophia get her customer service skills up to scratch, Penny offers to be a shopper for her. OK, so if you want to go and ask Hayley yep. to help you and she'll bring the, give you the shoes. Retailing should be an experience. It shouldn't be just about any product that you might be selling. It should be something that people enjoy doing. But that's what I think really retailing is about for me and why it's a career rather than something you might just do part time. So they feel quite good. So how do you deal with people who, you know, like are difficult or have smelly feet, you know? For odour kind of thing. <laughs> okay, um, we do have stockings in store, so we ask people to use stockings when they're trying the shoes on. Um, dealing with difficult customers, um, the biggest thing that we do is just make sure that you're not um, aggravating anything. You, you know, we really value our customers here, so we want to retain their loyalty. I'd like you to meet Jenny. She works here with us, and Jenny has agreed to be your customer today. So okay. we, we thought that we would pair you up and you could sell her some shoes. Staff are required to make contact in the first minute that a customer walks into the store. Hi there, how are you? But are taught how to approach customers without being too pushy. Do you see anything in particular you're looking for? 
customer service is extremely important. We want to um, build customer loyalty, obviously repeat customers that come back because they know they're going to get good service and get what they want from us. Would you like to try them off? Please. Yep. Show us. So going great. Yeah. Asking lots of questions, which is really important, and deciding on what customers are into. I do think it's the, it's the kind of job that A, you can enjoy, but B, you learn transferable skills in. You'll find that the things you learn transfer very well to other things you might choose to do. The test is going well, but will she be able to close so the deal? Like to take this? <laughs> what am I supposed to say? That's good. <laughs> That's really good. Cut. <laughs> take two. So, would you like to take this? Yes, please. Okay. okay. Right, how did you go, Sophie? Um, good. Good, you did really well. Sophia's strengths, uh, she has got a brilliant smile, she's very enthusiastic and she's got lots of motivation and a willingness to learn. Okay, we're all done. How did you enjoy your day? I enjoyed it a lot, um, having to deal with customer service um, as well as people. You did really well and you've learned a lot in one day, so well done. I'd like to um, thank you for the experience, wonderful experience. You're welcome, you did really well. Good luck. Thank you. Um, really good, I enjoyed it. Um, people were great, uh, I was comfortable. Um, yeah, made, made it easier for me. Um, yeah, keep the smile on me. Yeah, I would really love a job in retail. Um, you know, anywhere, pretty much, got to do with retail. The National Certificate in Retail has three qualifications starting at Level 2 up to Level 4. Students are able to earn as they learn as the majority of training is conducted in the workplace. There are various programs available to gain retail qualifications, modern apprenticeship or training pathway. Every trainee receives an individual training plan and dedicated mentor. Assessment is done by observation, questioning and task setting. Supporting local content so you can see more of New Zealand on air.